Starting an online store can be really exciting, but if it's your first one, it can feel pretty overwhelming. I've seen a lot of people dive in with big plans and then get stuck somewhere between choosing a theme and figuring out shipping settings before they even start selling. So in this video, I'm walking you through the exact Shopify setup that's helped hundreds of entrepreneurs create successful six-figure businesses. Now, I've been doing this for a few years myself, and I get how frustrating it can be to figure it all out from scratch. So I wanted to make this guide as straightforward and beginner-friendly as possible, and hopefully, by the time we're done, you're going to have a really good and functional Shopify store that'll set you up to start making sales. No coding or design skills needed. I'm going to take you through everything from signing up and adding your products to customizing your homepage and plugging in the right apps. On top of that, a few simple tweaks that you can make to seriously improve your conversion rate. So stick around and by the end of this video, you have put together a clean, professional looking store that's ready to go live. Now, if you want to get started and follow along with this video in real time, then you can sign up with Shopify by using the affiliate link listed down in the description below. On top of their three-day free trial, it'll get you the first three months of service for just $1 each. So make sure you take advantage of this offer and save yourself a few extra bucks. Plus, if you really want to dig into the details, we have an even more in-depth tutorial on how to get your online business off the ground with Shopify. So that will be listed down in the description for you to go check out as well. All right, now, Let's jump in and start setting up your store. So once you click the link below, it's going to take you to Shopify's website where you'll need to enter your email and hit that start free trial button. No credit card needed. Then you're going to need to make a password and your account will be created. From there, Shopify asks you a few basic questions about what you're selling, where you're located, etc. But honestly, feel free to skip anything that you're not sure about right now because you can always change things later on. So now you'll need to pick a plan and I would recommend starting with Shopify's basic plan for now since it covers all the essentials you'll need to launch your site. But I'll go through their plans in a little more detail later on in this video. Now, once that's done, you'll land on your Shopify dashboard and it's not as complicated as it looks. It's all actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So on the left side, you're going to see your main menu. The home tab gives you a to do list with things like add product or customize theme. Super useful if you're not sure where to begin. Then there's the order section where all your future sales will show up and under products, You'll be able to upload your items, set prices, add photos, and handle different versions of a product. Next, if you click over into analytics, that's where you track your site traffic and see what's working once the sales start coming in. And under apps, you'll find the tools you need to help with things like email marketing, reviews, social proof, and other stuff that makes running your store easier and a bit more automated. Now, before we jump into customizing your theme and adding products, I recommend just clicking through and exploring a little. Open the Home tab, check out what Shopify suggests, and scroll through the settings to confirm basics like your store address and currency. Getting familiar with the layout will make the next steps go a lot smoother. All right, so now that you've had a quick look around, let's get into how to make your store look good and like somewhere you'd actually want to buy from. This part is all about choosing a theme that fits your vibe and customizing it to match your brand. So. Start by heading over to the Shopify theme store. You'll see a bunch of free and paid templates, some made by Shopify itself, others from third party designers. Now, if you're just getting started, free themes like Dawn, Craft and Refresh are pretty safe options. They're clean, they're flexible and already optimized for mobile views. So your store will look great on phones, tablets and desktops without you having to mess with anything. Personally, I'm partial to the Dawn theme. Then, you can also filter themes by industry, which helps to narrow down your options just a bit. So if you're in fashion, electronics, or home goods, you're gonna find themes with layouts and demo content already tailored to that kind of store. Once you find one you like, you can click try theme. It won't charge you anything, and you can play around with it before making it official. And after you've found a good fit, just hit publish to set it live. But don't stress, you can always switch themes later if you change your mind. Then inside the theme editor, there's a preview toggle that lets you switch between desktop and mobile views. And the good news is that all of the Shopify themes will adjust to mobile devices automatically, so you don't have to worry about manually optimizing your site for different devices. Then from there, it's all drag and drop. Shopify's editor lets you move sections around, swap out banner images, add text blocks, or even drop in featured products and testimonials. Most sections come with their own settings too, so you can adjust fonts, button shapes, spacing, whatever feels right for your style. 
Now for colors, I recommend picking a simple palette, maybe a neutral base like white or black, and one strong accent color to tie everything together. It keeps things looking clean and professional without feeling over-designed. And take your time here, this is where your store starts to take shape and feel real. So once it looks the way you want, everything else becomes easier to build up around it. Now, a lot of people will focus mainly on the homepage, but in my opinion, the behind the scenes page matters just as much. These are the ones that help build trust and show customers you're a legitimate brand that they can be confident doing business with. So to start on these, head to online store in your Shopify sidebar and then click on pages. You'll see a clean slate where you can start adding key pages like your about page, your shipping policy and terms and conditions. Now, personally, I like to draft my policy pages outside of Shopify first. ChatGPT is actually super helpful for this. Just ask it something like, write a clear shipping policy that explains delivery times, fees, and returns for my online store. It gives you a solid jumping off point that you can adjust to fit your voice. Then for your about page, just write out your story, why you started the store, what matters to you, and what you actually believe in. Keep it real. Once you've got that and your policy is ready, paste them into their pages and hit save. Just like that, your store starts to feel more complete and trustworthy. When shoppers know who you are and how you handle things like shipping or returns, they're way more likely to stick around. Next, let's make sure people can actually find those pages. So go to content and click menu, open up your main menu and hit add menu item. Then add links for about us, shipping, terms and conditions, or whatever else makes sense. FAQs, contact us, anything important, link each one to the pages you've just created. Now this takes maybe a minute to put together, but when it makes a huge difference, when you do it right. When someone visits your store and sees a clear menu with all of the info up front, it feels way more professional. On top of that, I've noticed this small step can actually reduce cart abandonment because people aren't left wondering about return policies or who's actually behind the brand. It's very simple stuff, but it really adds that layer of polish that makes your store just feel more legit. All right, so here things start to get real because now we're gonna start adding products to your site. And thankfully, Shopify makes this part pretty simple. First, you're gonna click products in the sidebar, then hit add product. You get a clean layout with field for your product title, description, images, pricing, and all the other basics. For the images, try to upload clear, high quality photos with a clean background. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but make sure the product is front and center. A few good angles can make a big difference in how professional your store looks. Now, when it comes to writing your product descriptions, you can try out Shopify's built-in generate description button. It's not perfect, but it does give you a decent starting point. I usually take that draft, rewrite it in my own tone, and highlight the key benefits to make it more engaging. You wanna keep them personal and easy to skim, and bolding a few important points does help as well. Then if you scroll down, you're gonna find pricing and inventory settings, and this is where you'll plug in your retail price and your cost per item so Shopify can automatically show your profit margins. If you're tracking inventory, just switch on the track quantity toggle and enter your stock amount. Shopify will actually handle the rest, including marking items sold out when needed, which helps avoid overselling. Now, one last thing, make sure your product titles are clear and searchable. Instead of something vague like blue tea, go with something like men's slim fit blue cotton t-shirt. It not only helps with search rankings, but it also tells customers exactly what they're looking at. And while you're at it, scroll to the search engine listing section and update your meta title and description. It's a small step, but it can give you a little edge with Google search results. Then once your products are added and everything's polished up, your store will start to look and feel complete. You're not just building a site anymore, you're setting yourself up to make real sales. All right, once your free trial is up, you'll need to choose a plan that fits your needs and budget. And if you're new or growing business, there's three main options that you're gonna wanna focus on. You get the basic plan, the grow plan, which some still call the Shopify plan, and the advanced plan. Now, each package provides a different set of features at various price points, but if you use the affiliate link below, you can get started with any one of them for free with their three-day trial before enjoying three months of service for just $1 a month. So you'll have plenty of time to create your store and start selling before you have to make any noticeable financial commitments. Now, for which option to choose, if you're just getting started, the basic plan is usually more than enough. And just under 30 bucks a month, it'll give you everything you'll need to run a small store, unlimited products, sales channels and themes, as well as 24 seven support. Now, if you're planning to scale up or if you've already grown a bit of momentum, the grow plan goes for around 80 bucks a month and adds professional reporting, more detailed analytics and support for up to five staff accounts. Now, if you're running a larger operation or managing a full team, the advanced plan comes in at around $300 a month 
and unlocks upgraded report builders while supporting up to 15 staff members. So once you've picked your plan, just head to settings, plan, and enter your billing info. Then it's time to set up how you'll get paid. I usually recommend going with Shopify payments because it skips those extra third-party fees and gives you solid credit card rates based on your plan. But if you prefer PayPal, Stripe, or any other gateway, you can easily add those in settings, payments, and just keep in mind that Shopify charges a small fee for using outside processors, 2% on basic, 1% on grow, and 0.6% with their advanced plan. Now, after all that is done, congrats, your store is officially live and ready to take real orders. Now let's give your store a real home on the web by setting up a custom domain. This step instantly makes your shop feel more polished and professional. To start, go to your Shopify admin and click on settings. Then head into the domain section. If you don't already have a domain, just click buy new domain and search for one that fits your brand. I personally like using dot store because it's short, clear, and instantly tells people that they're in the right place to shop. Now, once you've got your domain, Shopify will automatically connect it to your store, no complicated setup required. And that's it. Your shop now has a clean branded URL that builds trust and makes a great first impression. All right, then once your store is up and running, adding a few smart apps can make a huge difference in how smooth things run and how many sales you make. Shopify's app store has thousands of options and they're not just random plugins. Every app goes through a pretty thorough review process so you know that they're reliable and secure. Now, one of my go-to features is Shopify Magic, which uses AI to generate product descriptions you just plug in the key features or details and it gives you a decent draft in seconds. I still go in and tweak it to match my tone, but it seriously cuts down the time I spend writing copy from scratch. Now, if you're looking to build trust, apps like Luke's, Judge.me, and Yapo are perfect for collecting customer reviews. You can show off star ratings, user photos, and even video testimonials right on your product pages. So it's super helpful as you're trying to convert new visitors. Then, for a smooth shopping experience, I always recommend adding a sticky cart. Tools like STKY, Sticky, Add to Cart Bar, or Uplinky Sticky can keep the Add to Cart button visible as people scroll. It sounds small, but it actually helps reduce drop-offs during the buying process. Now, there are actually over 8,000 vetted apps to explore, so you can pick the ones that suit your store best. Whether you're automating emails or streamlining checkout, the right tools can make everything feel a lot more polished and user-friendly. All right. Now that your store is live, the real challenge begins, getting people to show up and actually buy. One of the easiest places to start is social media. Pick just one platform where your ideal customers already spend their time. For lifestyle products, Instagram usually works well. If you're selling something trendier or more visual, TikTok might be better. I like to batch content on Sundays, so I'm not scrambling during the week. It makes everything just a lot easier to manage. And don't overlook email. A simple get 10% off pop-up is a great way to build your list. Once people sign up, send out emails that aren't just about selling, share behind the scenes stuff, product tips, or even a quick customer story. Those personal touches feel way more genuine than constantly blasting out discounts. And if you've got a little budget to work with, try partnering with a small influencer who has a loyal audience in your niche. It doesn't have to be someone huge, just someone whose followers actually care about what you're selling. Now, lastly, make the buying process simple. Use clear callouts, guest checkout, and trust badges near the cart button. Keep making these little tweaks to set yourself apart, and you're gonna see your conversion rates climb. So, there you have it. You now own a fully live, polished Shopify store that's ready to start making sales. Remember to stick with the social media and email strategies we covered. Lean on those conversion-focused layouts and let your analytics guide your future adjustments. With this solid framework in place, you now have the foundation to manage a successful storefront that'll serve as the launch pad for your business. And that's all for this guide. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos just like this. As a reminder, if you want to create your own online store with Shopify, then you can get started by using the affiliate link down in the description and get their three-day free trial along with three months of service at just $1 a month. Plus, if you want some more in-depth guidance throughout your setup, like I mentioned, we have a detailed step-by-step -step guide for Shopify link down in the description below. So make sure to go check it out. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so please leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.